Now for some of you, this could be old hat. Others, it'll be something new. All right, first of all, what we have here is a single um, serial RGB LED cut out from the strip and just connected directly to um, port uh, GPIO 13 on an ESP32. And over here, we have um, an Atom light from M5 stack. It has a single RGB light built in and I just figured out how to use it. Ignore the mess of wiring up on the top there. That's just an experiment with a DS18B20, which is gonna disappear soon. All right, <clears throat> so what am I doing here? And why did that just change color? Well, I'm busy mastering Home Assistant. Well, I hope so anyway. And I've recently discovered ESP Presence or ES Presence. So I've put ES Presence on that ESP32 and on that uh, M5 stack product, both of which are ESP32s with Bluetooth. So don't use that horrible little S2 ESP32 because it doesn't have Bluetooth. Right, so what's special about this? I've been playing around with the idea of having presence detection rather than PIRs and the rest of it. Um, so what you've got to do is use your imagination. Imagine this is in a box sitting in the living room and imagine this one doesn't have to be in a box, USB powered, I'm sitting in my office in a corner somewhere. So I got the presence working a little while back. But this next bit's new to me. So what I did, stuck the lead on, and in ES Presence you can, uh, you've got under the optional uh, controls, you can put a GRB light, single light if you want, which I've used. There's There are three commands, LED1, LED2, and LED3. LED1 lets you put a, a PWM LED or a GRB or RGB LED light. It's not covered in that documentation, but you'll find that if you install ES Presence, it's in there. It's in the actual stuff on the page. Um, I'll try and show you here if I can. Where's ES Presence? There you are. LED 1 addressable RGB. Uh, in this case, it's on pin 27. MQTT control. All right. So. I've got the ESP presence running and I've got the ESP presence running and I've got these two. As I say, use your imagination. Pretend that is actually my living room and that is actually my office. So as well as actually doing something, a little automation in Home Assistant, I've told it to, um, if I'm in the living room, I can't remember which is which now. Yep, that's it. If I'm in the living room, put a red light on both of the detectors. If on the other hand, I'm in my office. Now the reason I'm putting this so close is one of these is far more sensitive than the other. See that? Both gone green. I have to adjust the sensitivity yet, but uh, I'll do that when I actually get these in place. So you've got a little visual indicator if I'm in the office or if I'm in the living room. Oh, I think that's down to polling time when I think about it. Yeah, they are, they've both gone red. Now, it's not just that simple. So uh, in this building, we have generally my wife and I. Um, so I'm borrowing her Mi 7 and I'm about to get the next model uh, Mi band. It's acting as a beacon and the... ESP32 has ES presence on it and that is reacting to the watch being nearby. So that in itself is all very nice but if my wife was to come in they would both show two different colors. If both my wife 
and I are in the living room. Yet another colour if both my wife and I are in the office. It would show yet another colour. If nobody's in, the lights would go off. What's the point of having lights on if there's nobody there? All right, enough of the waffle. I'll show you the YAML code uh, that was needed to create this. I'm going to put this in the blog and I'll put a link uh, to the blog. The full YAML code that you can just copy or modify or ignore. Your choice. Enjoy. Enjoy.